Hey Aries, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly reading session for you Aries. I hope you're well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. Oh, you've got not so good card. Not so good energy. Um, what can I get for Aries, please? All right. This is for the period of October 12 to 18. This is for the Aries friends out there. What is the message? What could I get for Aries, please? In their love, romantic, relationship, dating, or getting to know. And I'm seeing the Ace of Cups in reverse. What's happening to all of you? Okay, Six of Pentacles in reverse again. Um, before I start, Aries, I would like to thank you for coming back, for tuning in. Shout out to all of my subscribers. Thank you, thank you for the love, for the support. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, Please do it now if you are interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support me, uh, check out the description box below because you'll find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. Check out our online store. The link is down in the description box below. Um, check out our manifestation item. It comes with a free reading from me and free shipping worldwide. So just type your manifestation question and I'll try my best to work on the energy and get back to you. Once we send out the items, we will send you a digital instruction, a guide on how to use and activate it, along with a free access to our exclusive meditation music, okay? So, let's start your reading, Aries. What can I get for you? October 12 to 18, Love Energy Reading. In today's reading, I will look at the past energy, your energy, the current energy, the connecting energy between the two of you, your person's energy, predictive outcome and advice depending on the message for today i'll let you know if there's a need to extend the reading okay all right um so in the past situation past energy energy you've got the eight of pentacles in upright position um this is pointing to your card okay this is your line uh past present future it seems to be you've been working hard towards something related to a relationship or situationship your person is seven of swords in the past energy you could be dealing with a person who they're lying they're cheating they're betrayal seven of swords this is you know it, it has gotten worse okay um i find the seven sword seven of swords this is an actual cheating five of swords it's a beginning of a cheating scenario a lying some for some for, for some energy i i pick up five of swords as like white lies you know about but when it when it escalate to six of swords uh because oh, sorry um but when the energy escalates to the seven of swords um before that there's a six of swords so someone walk away already okay if not physically energetically and they went back they're doing something behind your back this could be an actual betrayal tree um but it's something not nice your person's past energy they're doing something behind your back something that is not to be trusted untrust not to be trusted not a good energy to work with all right and then um the connecting energy between the two of you in the past is the hermit card. You keep giving this person a chance. Okay, eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles and the hermit card. You could be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. But you keep giving this person or this situation a chance. You are hopeful that because you gave a lot of effort or time or action or... You gave your all for some of you with this person, Eight of Pentacles. It maxed out your fire, your energy. For some of you, this is a husband or a wife who took away a lot of money from you, a lot of valuable things. But for some of you, I get that the effort, the time that you gave to this person is something really valuable for you, something special, and... um. You are kind of hesitant to give them a chance or to connect to reconnect, but you gave it a, you you gave it all anyway. I honestly feel like there's nothing. I mean, there's something to lose. Okay, there's something to lose because it's a mixed emotion. To be honest with you, Aries, because what I'm hearing is that there's something to lose because you did not get the investment the return back but it's not your loss as well 
because you gave it all okay so the energy playing up with here with the hermit card in the eight of pentacles is that you might be upset you know you might be you might feel like this person have taken advantage of your kindness of of you being so open to them to come back of you being the hermit and being forgiving accepting and waiting for some of you this is not the typical aries but with this person um because of how passionate you are how you love them how you wanted to work things out you to reach the eight of pentacles where you're doing more the work versus them because of how much you wanted it to work um this is a typical energy where you have to reach a certain point aries to stop you reach a certain point from there you stop because after the eight of pentacles is the nine and then the ten so it's two pentacles away from the ten of pentacles it's two uh yeah it's two pentacles away from the ten of pentacles so you know that if you reach this far um you you can't give further because it is gonna make you explode explode it's gonna burn you out okay so you still have some sort of limitation but before you it, it's a feeling of you're kind of giving it you're kind of giving it to it and trying and letting them in and then I feel like you're kind of counting this. Yeah, you are in a countdown, final countdown, Aries. I feel like this Eight of Pentacles and the Hermit card. It's an energy of it's the final countdown. Okay, I'm gonna accept you. I'm gonna forgive you. I'm gonna let you in, and boom, you reach my limit. No more, Hermit card. You have made me full of myself. For some of you, you know, I am aware. What I like in here is that you are aware of how much energy, effort you will give, and you are aware of your limitation. And right now, this person is bingo. They reach the limitation, the limit of Aries, okay? Because this is what you gave them, eight of pentacles, and what they gave you is seven, eight and seven, and it's a sword. They made a fool out of you. They trick you. They do. They did something behind your back. The mute, the, the connecting energy between the two of you is the hermit, which is like, they go in silent to trick you to do something behind your back. You are solidly very honest, um, very solemn, very accepting and forgiving of who they are. You accept their imperfection. And you had enough of that. You had enough of that. For some of you, you are aware that this person is fooling, around, fooling you around. But they, you give them some sort of benefit of the doubt. But it's just too much. It's in front of you, the trickster, the um, inconsistency. So it has gotten to a point where it has reached the limit. And you are now in the three of swords energy. I do not like pain. I'm not going to gain anything from you. I will get rid of you. Okay, very strong. You know your value, Eight of Pentacles. You know your value. You know the effort you put through you are illuminated the good and the bad you know what you've been through what you put through and you know your limit three of swords currently it is advising you it has reached the limit this is bingo if you're not in this energy yet this is the advice for you three of swords enough of the betrayal enough of the seven of swords my person i've given all i've lost you but um you, it's a feeling of you felt like you lost but you actually gain you have so much time now for yourself you know it's it's a feeling of it's not my loss although this person feels like oh you will you know you i know you'll get back to me or something there's there's a boastfulness around your person seven of swords okay um in a more current energy looking at your person's king of pentacles they won't really commit what they say is different from what they do they say this and king of pentacles this is what they do non-committal it's like a maze you know dealing with this person is like a maze puzzle you know they try to trick you you're look at you how hard working you are you know you're so focused to them and you apply all of the wisdom all of your wisdom you try to contain your fire you know you you because you're fire you try to really be patient with this person for some of you are the one who asked for forgiveness who asked for sorry and um you really did give it all 
honestly, Aries, you give this person your all. You give you give it all your best shot with this person and three of swords. No more pain. No more of this. It's obvious. Current energy, two of swords in reverse. They're non-committal. Pretty obvious. And um, in the immediate future, the tower card. For some of you, you're not ready right now. But you are figuring out how to let go of this. How to move on. on. <laughs> how to move on or... I don't know, maybe you call this honey, <laughs> hon. But, because there's this, you know, hermit card, eight of pentacles, three of swords. There's a decision in the now, in the current energy to let go, to get rid of it. Or you've reached the limit, you bingo. And in the immediate future, it gets so powerful that you will break away from this person. Because... You are no longer interested with with their S H I T and the non committal action. It's non committal. It's non commitment. All right. Um. Yeah, it's getting stronger. You're really getting into the. You're you're getting your mojo back. You're getting stronger. You're you're feeling like you won't fool me once, twice. Ah, uh, sorry. Tower card. Goodbye. Had enough. Okay. Um, five of pentacles, the mutual energy between the two of you in the immediate future. Okay. Five of pentacles. Um, you need to really, um, walk away for something so beautiful, but something that is not secure and something that is not yours from the beginning for some of you, because there's a third party for some of you, seven of your seven of swords, three of swords. This person could be moving around multiple dating when they're in front of you, they f they make you feel like, I'm with you, I'm all yours. But when you are not around, they fool around and non-committal. So in the immediate future, five of pentacles in upright position, this is abandonment. So I see you, this is a back-to-back -back strong energy of the tower card. You had enough. The base, the structure of this situation from past to present, it's a very strong to let go, to break it up separate disconnect abandon the ship it is sinking your person's energy queen of swords i see this person coming back to you calling you and texting you and they will intimidate you they will they'll be the one who will be insisting that um for some of you really rude queen of swords they will tell you we're never committed. We're never exclusive. So why are you jealous? Why are you possessive? Why are you controlling me? So I see that telling, I see that coming from your person. So this is really a person who is not considerate of your feelings, of your effort. This is an S-H-I-T. From past to present to future, their energy is the same. Okay? Um, deceitful, non-committal, queen of swords, the way they will get back to you, the way they will communicate with you in the future, they would even blame you, okay? They will make you feel guilty. If you didn't say that, if you didn't do that, then you won't trigger me to cheat or you won't trigger me to be non-committal. They even find fault to blame you. That is not love. That is control, okay? So take care of your energy. Take care of your rights. And um, this is the so many fish in the sea. Don't be scared to be alone, recuperate, heal, and then rule the world, all right? So this is just one person. This is just a person. There's so many soulmates for you out there. Don't be scared, all right? Don't, don't let this person diffuse the fire in you, okay? It's not even worth it. You gave it all. When you look back, you gave it all. It didn't, it didn't work. Now go outside and run the world and find another fish. There's so many fish in the sea, okay? Thank you, Aries. Um, more power to you. Have the strength and courage to have the tower moment and abandon this sinking ship. All right, bye guys.